God bless you, everyone. Minister Dave here to tell you more about the fasting that we're doing at the Resurrection Center from October 30th through November 8th, and it relates to the state of the church. Here's more information for better understanding of what is happening. Right now, fasting is completely out of step with the way much of the world approaches Christianity. And because the world has so penetrated the church, this may well be the primary reason why fasting is so unfamiliar to Christians today. Maybe it's because people are not reading their Bibles as much today as they did in previous generations. So they are not seeing evidence for fasting in the Bible as much as they used to. That's too bad and unfortunate. We need to remember that Jesus is not interested in Christians simply going through the motions. He is not looking for a routine mechanical motion of fasting. God wants obedience in Christian life, right? God wants obedience that comes from a true heart that loves him, that longs to be in communion with him and that wants to please him out of gratitude for what he has already done. I'll say that again, think about it. God wants obedience that comes from a true heart that loves him, that longs to be in communion with him and that wants to please him out of gratitude for what he has already done. That means that when Jesus assumes that his followers will be fasting, he is assuming that their fasting will flow from hearts that love God and long to obey everything he has asked them to do. As we begin to think about the subject of fasting more deeply, a good place to do so is by considering two questions. What is fasting? And why should we be doing it? Well, it is not a hunger strike to ensure that God will meet our list of demands. It is a way of expressing our love for him and our gratitude for all that he has done for us. It is a way of communing with him and keeping our hearts fixed upon him. The world is continually seeking to pull our desires away from the Lord. Fasting plays an important role in the battle for our desires. At the Resurrection Center, we'll be fasting for the state of the church. It will be a 10-day fast from October 30th to November 8th. The purpose of the fast is to bring the church body into God's divine alignment led by the Holy Spirit to operate in the end times, let the Holy Spirit equip the church body by fasting. I read to you the scripture, Philippians chapter one, verse six, which says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And that's Philippians chapter one, verse six. At the Resurrection Center, we are corporately praying for a revival of the influence of Jesus in people's lives. As part of this process from October 30th to November 8th, we are fasting to bring us into consecration to what God has ordained in our lives and the state of the church body. Fasting is a discipline of abstaining from something good like food so we can concentrate on our spiritual lives and find satisfaction in God. Here is what you can do during your fast. Begin your day in praise and worship. Read and meditate on God's word. Invite the Holy Spirit to work in you. Be in a state of repentance. Ask for direction and guidance. Now, when your designated time for fasting is finished. You will begin to eat again. But how you break your fast is extremely important for your physical and spiritual well-being. Begin eating gradually. Do not eat solid foods immediately after your fast. And one special note. 
Fasting requires reasonable precautions. Consult your physician first, especially if you're taking prescription medication or have a chronic ailment. Some persons should never fast without professional supervision. My name is Dave, and this is the Resurrection Center.